Okay, so um, I'm doing a quick review. Uh, I was really excited when I saw, even though it doesn't, it's not a stable. It's just a, it's just a, a mount. GoPro refers to it as a mount. It's called the three-way. Um, and I was really excited when I saw that because it is a tripod. It works as an extension, like you're seeing right now. Uh, it also works as a nice, uh, like, uh, grenade handle kind of idea. Um, and so it intrigued me. Uh, for 70 bucks, I thought, hey, this would be cool. Um, I can do shots like this. Those look like that'd be awesome. This is the first time I ever used it, so we'll get to see how well it does. Uh, I'm going to do some, on this footage, I'm not going to stabilize any of it. Uh, with software I'm not going to use any software stabilization I'm going to record also some footage with me just holding the camera like I used to do with my hand um, so we can kind of compare the two but right now we have everything uh, I just got it up here you see here so just playing uh, let's see how it does down here Now, um, also I'm going to take, and, and for example, I'm just holding it. It does seem to be, my thought was, is I was getting pretty good using the uh, stabilization software in Adobe Premiere that, you know, I got to thinking, you know, maybe if I can hold a steady grip on the camera, I don't need to have something like um, a gimbal or a steady cam to get the job done. Um, so this definitely makes a difference uh, as far as how well you can hold the thing. And hold it steady. So I'm going to just do some other shots here while I'm walking. So now I'm going to take the camera out and just show you how I've got this thing extended. Um, so you can get an idea so I just had it straight up like this and that's what I was doing and then earlier when I was holding out in front of me I had it like that but the this part was tilted kind of like that so when I was holding it in front of me I had it like that and then I had it straight up straight up when I was doing that and then just now when I was walking down beside me I was just doing it like that and so we'll see and then I walked a little bit like that so we can see how that does I haven't been practicing with this this is the first time I've used it so we'll get to see how hard it is to adapt um, and uh, you know of course it's got the uh, you can use it like a monopod so again you know you just set it up like this and you can use it like a monopod but as I was saying, you can use it like this as well, you know. Um, so again, you can use it as a monopod. Um, then a few other things here. Of course, you got the tripod. This is still pretty handy, easy to use. Uh, you know, you can just set this up. This cap pops off. And then you can just uh, mount the frame or the case that holds the GoPro right there on top. Um, so yeah, that, that would do that. Um, again, also put the cap back on, screw it in. And I was really concerned that this may not be really that stable, um, because it seems like it'd be a little top heavy, but in actuality, even when the camera's in there, um, you know, yeah, if you had a strong breeze, but I mean, it's not that bad. It really, it actually works. So that's the tripod. Okay, so I noticed this uh, when I first started playing with this thing. Okay, we unscrew that a little. I was like, why do they have a stop there? I, I couldn't, it's actually got a stop there and you have to hit a button to close it up. It's like, why do they have a stop there? And then I realized it gives it extra strength for this. And I just put it like this put it like that and so let me extend that out a little more so you can put it like this 
hold your hand like that and I'll go so I'll film some footage with me doing it like this and I'll walk around in the yard but I can tell from when I was looking at the viewfinder it's pretty darn steady I mean it's it's doesn't move um, it just stays with your body and I think you got some really good footage now here's the cool part is not only can you do all this stuff that everybody was aware of but I started thinking about it why couldn't you make this into a steady cam? I mean not only could this be a tripod a monopod a, a shoulder a shoulder brace uh, an extension uh, using for when you're doing views down there what if you could make this actually work like a steady cam? Well, if I've watched all these videos on the steady cams, and really it's just about balance. Uh, and I saw some guy even use a tripod, you know, and it's like, well, if it's all just about balance. And then, you, you know, they end up even, you know, positioning it with their fingers. So I got to thinking. So I just took a ribbon. Now, this is an idea. This was just a, uh, an experiment. And I have to film it. I'll film some footage, and we'll see if this actually works. If this idea works, great. Um, that'll be totally awesome. So, you know, probably something better than just using ribbon. But the reason I used this, I did the ribbon, I wrapped around four times so that, you know, it's, it's fairly flat. And I say the width is important um, with this idea if, it's, if it actually works. Because when you stick your finger through here like this, you know, it, 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 it helps. It's not just like it's got one little string. And then here's what I did is you can take this and make it into a steady cam. Now I haven't balanced it because it doesn't have the camera, but so you when you have the camera it actually works better. Um, you would adjust this, put this where you want it. Okay, like so. And it's like if the camera was in there it'd be and then and then you can just take your finger and hold like that. Same idea. And we'll see how it works. It may not work at all. Uh, we will find out. Um, but that's one position I want to try is, is that right there. So again, you know, you can adjust this a little bit to get it balanced just right. And this ends up being your pivot point, your, your axis is this, this, this strap. Um, then the other way I want to try doing it is, there it was, that's what it was. It was right here. I got to remember the own, the own, this is the next place I want to try. So I can put this about where I want it. Camera's in place facing out this way. Um, and then, now, you got a lower spot. Let's see if I can film this. So my idea is I'm going to try this. And basically, try this. And again, we've got a steady cam, assuming it works. And we'll find out. So this will be position two. So the first position will be up high. And then this will be position two. So that's one way we can try it. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna do one more walkthrough um, real quick so we actually have a comparison and I'll announce each one as I go. I'm gonna walk. Okay, so first I'm going to, and I'm gonna to try to do this as steady as possible and I'm gonna just, just do this, uh, a walk around the trampoline and back to this point for each of these. And I'm really gonna to try to do my best on this recording uh, and do them all equally as much effort uh, to give a fair, you know, so we can see if there's a real improvement. So this is with my hand holding the camera only. Now I'm actually bracing my hand with my other hand, which I've done at times when I want it to really be steady. And the biggest problem I found when using my hand more than the shakiness is the tendency to cover the microphone, uh, which kind of stinks. So there we go, using my hand to hold it. Now I'm going to put it into the, in here in the grenade handle position. So now, being as I walked around with two hands before, I'm going to carry it in the grenade handle position, holding the grenade handle uh, with, or the handle, with both hands. Let's see if there's any improvement between the two. Now, 
One thing I've seen a fellow do on YouTube is he'll put it up and hold it to his chin while walking around. I've seen a few do that. Uh, I think it kind of looks funky. Um, if you're with friends, they, you might be able to do it. If you're in a crowd, people would probably look at you like you're funny, but let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna carry it the same way with two hands, but I'm gonna put it up to my chin. Tighten this down. So it's the same thing, but I got the GoPro touching my chin. I'm using two hands. Okay, now, let's go ahead now and do the position where I use it as a shoulder brow, break it, uh, shoulder, shoulder brace, thank you. So I'm getting it all connected here in the right spot. So the transition doesn't take too long. So I've used it as a shoulder brace, two hands. And real quick, just this is one where I think the shoulder brace would come in handy is if you were standing still, you needed a pan. I think this is where it will really uh, show an effect that you really couldn't do if you were just holding it in your hands. So that's with the shoulder brace. Now I'll keep on going. I mean, basically, I think that would be about the same as if you had a monopod kind of idea. Um, now, what I'm going to do is go to my idea of using it like a steady cam. We're going to go to the one that looks like a triangle, uh, position one. So I've got it shaped in the triangle, and this is more the steady cam. So I'll just do a quick thing here. Uh, so a couple motions there. Just wanted to try. Now we'll do the walk around. And again, I just got two fingers just slightly brushed against it. While one finger is hanging. It's hanging off one finger. And uh, We'll see how this works. This is position one. The one is shaped like a triangle. And like I say, I got more free room. I'm just trying this because this would be the whole point of using it like this because I think there's a spot, place for everything. She just has to be back in the bypass, that's it. So that's position one. Now, the, the next thing we're gonna do is record it hanging down, um, arm, arm's length, like this. Um, and then I'm gonna record that, um, just holding it in my hand. And then I'm gonna record it um, steady cam, because that'd be about that position where I had it hanging like a, um, a hook. That was vicious, position two. Right now I'm gonna walk around just holding it in my hand. Um, like this. So I'm just holding it in my hand and I'm going to just walk around hanging my hand down and see how that does. Now the closest one to that position is the uh, position two, the steady cam idea I have. We'll see how that does. Um, so I'm gonna put this in position two. On it, got one foot in the gray. So now I'm gonna try the stable cam idea where it's hanging again like a hook.
and I was intentionally turning at those different angles to see how it did. So that was, the I would say, put it about the same position, maybe a little lower than if I had it hanging by my hand, just hanging down. Um, and of course, you still had a little more movement that way. So now the last position is using this arm straight out um, down by my feet. Um, and so the first time I'm, I'm gonna do it while I'm actually holding the handle in my hand, completely stiff. So I'm gonna film that. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to hang it. Uh, I'm going to take the ribbon and hang it through my uh, middle finger there, and then you know stabilize it with my thumb and my uh, index finger. Uh, you know, just lightly hold it stable with that, and so it's going to hang, as opposed to me having a solid grip on it. All right, so I think that uh, covered it. Uh, did I get out in front of me? I don't know that I got out in front of me. Let me do that again just in case. Um, that was this. Obviously I have one advantage is I couldn't ever reach that far out with my arm, but I will walk around one time with my arm as I can with the camera facing me uh, and we'll see how well it does stabilize uh, using one hand uh, for that because two really wouldn't work so now I'm going to take it out of the off the mount so now so I got it in my hand so now we're gonna have a comparison if I just held it in my hand and did it. So again, you kind of can, we can compare and see how stable one is from the other. And I think that kind of covers all the different ideas there. And so I think, we might see some pretty good results. Um, I don't think I'm gonna follow any narrow uh, narration up after this. Uh, I'll let you form your own opinion uh, as to you know if my idea with the uh, Steadicam thing is worth merit. If it is, I'll just type some comments in the uh, description box to say definitely check it out. And if it doesn't warrant any merit, then the only mention you're gonna hear of it is this video. So we'll see how that comes out. Thank you.